Good afternoon, people. Welcome to the Sweet G channel. This is my boxing journey, and I have a good friend with me, Elisa, and she's going to explain what she's doing. Would you like to care to explain? Um, so, I am a qualified nutritional therapist and fitness instructor, and I'm helping this young man on his boxing journey. Yes, she is. So, um, at the moment, she's been kind enough to do my nutrition plan. For free. Be yes, for free. For free. And because she's a good friend like that, right? <laughs> good friend. That's right. So I was actually going through the new petition plan that you um, have done for me. Okay. I have a few questions that I want to ask. Fire away. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I was born ready. Now I was looking at this calories per day. Mm -hmm. We have three thousand mm -hmm. three hundred and forty-four calories per day. Per day. Yeah. Now, is that a typo? No, it's not a typo. <laughs> in order for you to gain muscle mass, which is what you want to do, uh, we need to increase your average daily calorie intake, which I think was around 2,800, by about 500 to 600 kilocalories a day. So it's essential for you to be able to bulk and get size. You don't have to eat more. It's kind of a natural, natural progression. Hey Beeps, so it's the 17th of September, we're getting closer to start of the white collar boxing, just waiting outside, I'm trying to find this place, this studio where I meet Leo, going to do a workout, he's going to take some pictures, have a laugh, have a bubble, have a tickle, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes, um, keep you posted, peace. Where's this map of? But here it says, protein. Yes. 418 grams. Yes, it's a high protein diet. No. <laughs> like, am I supposed to be um, going to work and just not typing, just eating? <laughs> no, it's really important for you to schedule your meals. Um, the art of a really successful nutritional plan is to prepare in advance. So, and we've talked through it, you need to have um, uh, protein come from natural sources, but also you're going to have to be able to supplement it from things like instant mass heavyweight muscle and strength protein so um but everything is about scheduling so we're going to make sure that you're eating at specific times of the day so realistically every three to four hours yes Pete, we are in the studio i guess we're gonna do some pole dancing that's our secret don't tell anybody i'm right here with my man my man pots and pans leo what's good so tell us what you're doing <laughs> right now I'm setting up. Is that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now because you can't put me on the spot and I'm <laughs> ready for this. Every three to four hours? Yeah. I don't think there's enough hours in the, in the day. There is. If you got up earlier, then you'd be fine. Two, so, okay, that's another question I want to say. What times do I have to actually be getting up to actually fit all this kind of, you know, I got, like I said, 418 grams of protein, mm -hmm. 111. Um, grand fat. What time do you get up now, bro? I get up about nine, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So you're gonna have to get up at about five thirty, six o'clock in the morning to what? have your very first meal. I'm day. not praying. What am I, <laughs> <laughs> why am I getting up so early? You're gonna have to get up early because you're gonna need to. Your body needs something as soon as it wakes up in the morning. So. It's important for you to be able to set your day up by getting up at around 5.30, 6 o'clock, pump something straight into your body so that it has something to feed from and then realistically every three to four hours after that, going to bed earlier would help as well. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed about 1, yeah. 2 a.m. Yeah, so everything is about structuring and changing your day so that it's scheduled and changing some of the things that have become habit for you. So your whole daily cycle needs to be set in a very specific schedule. I know it sounds boring, I know it sounds like <laughs> the most worst thing in the world, but it's essential to prepare your day in advance and know exactly what you're doing every single day. Fair enough. So, alarm clock. It sound like it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be a Head challenge. Off. It's gonna be a challenge to try to get up at eight o'clock. Six o'clock. Oh, six. Morning. Yeah, it's okay. six. Okay. It's not eight. Six. Six. six um, you need an incentive. Six. That's what you need. So I just want to highlight something, put something to your guys' attention on my boy Leo and his equipment. So take a look at this. My man's got the whole flashy, flashy gear. Yeah, you need to get 
backdrop. Look at all this shit here. All this shiznits. Now my man's serious. All right, he ain't playing around. But let me show you my gear. Booyah. Donate. <laughs> What's he doing now? There's so much shit he's doing. I tell him bring his camera. That's it. Leo, bring the camera. It don't look like just a camera to me. So also, I see here it says, well, alcohol. Mm -hmm. So it should be eliminated. It is, that, be. is that during what I'm eating? So I can't actually have <laughs> no. alcohol while I'm eating the food. All alcohol during the eight week training plan and the eight week nutritional plan should be eliminated. Alcohol dehydrates you in a massive way. And if you're trying to gain size and muscle mass, the last thing that you need is to feel dehydrated. You have to have as much water as you possibly can throughout the course of the day. And if you're drinking alcohol, it's just not gonna work. Plus, alcohol is full of sugar. Sugar is another thing that has to be eliminated. We've discussed this many times. Now, um, see, sometimes, you know, us Caribbeans, we like to make drinks with sugar, i.e. <laughs> Kool-Aid. So you try to tell me that I can't make Kool-Aid. There's no, when did you last make Kool-Aid, Greg? Last week. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no Kool-Aid. There's no Kool-Aid, there's no Morby, there's no carbonated <laughs> drinks, there's no sweet drinks, there's no squash, well, there's no coke, there's nothing. No squash? It's water. That's all you Just need water. for your body, water. For the whole eight weeks? For the whole eight weeks, four to five oh. liters of water a day. Because you're going to be on a high protein diet as well, you need to be able to absorb all of that protein and the only way to do that is to make sure you drink a so massive... So how do you get like a victory drink? drink or something during lunch? Or something. No, if, if it's essential that you drink alcohol, it needs to be limited to around 10 grams a day. Um, 10 grams a week, sorry, not a day. You're getting happy there, 10 grams a day. And so we're talking about maybe two small glasses of red wine, um, uh, two gin and tonics, some lime tonics, and maybe one rum and coke, if that. But my advice to you would be, make the commitment, you've got a specific goal, and just it's just eight weeks. It will lead you up nicely to Christmas, and then you can do your fight, and then have a great Christmas. And drink all you want, right. drink yourself into oblivion. So if, if I do get knocked out, mm -hmm. you can blame the nutrition. <laughs> no, that's your fault and your technique. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with my nutrition. It's got nothing to do with my nutrition. That's on you. All right. Actually. I'm confident in you. I think you're going to be amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. However, <laughs> I still have another question. Okay. So I was looking at this. Is this the last question? Listen, there's <laughs> many questions that I wanted to be. Actually, it's just a couple. It's just about the food plan. All right. So, one thing I just noticed here, I, <laughs> there is an English fat-free Greek. <laughs> yes. Now, um, does anybody normally eat that kind of yogurt? Yeah. That doesn't even that sound like it tastes we, we, What we should do is we should ask the audience, right? Make a comment and say whether or not you eat Greek yogurt. I don't think there's much people out there that eat it. It's not there even nice. Is. It is nice, it's lovely. So that can't be replaced with no food corner. No, no with a food corner, <laughs> no. None whatsoever. Again, Greek yogurt, great form of calcium. It's got a good form of protein in there as well. It's fat free and it's got, um, Elements of protein, lactose protein and casein protein, which will help you and fuel your workout and give you a good start to the morning. Is there any cheese in this? There is. I see feta cheese. Yeah, feta That's cheese. another one as well. 
Can that not be replaced with Hilumi? No, no, it cannot. No, it cannot. No, it cannot. Just you, just, you just want to deviate from the entire food. <laughs> I'm just you? trying to see what we can, you know, take out and put back in. We can't take any of that out and put it back in. Okay, snacks. Except. I don't see any snacks. There are snacks. Oh, sorry, you got, I do see you got pizza bread, white, um, brown pizza right. bread. No, no, no white. No white <laughs> bread of any kind <laughs> at all. You've got a whole grain pizza. You've got peanut butter. You've got tuna. I like how you put water as well, like, as a snack. <laughs> it is a snack. It is a snack. <laughs> water is a snack. <laughs> it is a snack. All right, okay. Get a spoon and just dip into the Yeah, you can eat peanut butter like that. That's or you can just that. put it on the pizza bread. Or <laughs> yeah. you can put it, we've talked about this before, you can put it on celery. <laughs> if someone doesn't like celery, no, they're celery. adverse there to celery. Is, there is zero celery. You can put it on some apples, mm. you can spread it on a green apple. You can, it's beautiful. So you want me to the sweet and the Yes. And, no, and, you've got to slice it. Slice the apple. Your peanut butter. <laughs> no, you've got to slice the apple, really thin slices, put the peanut butter over the top of it. Great, great treat. Part one. Part two. Come on. Whoa! questions I have to you. Really? Yes it is. So wow. you, you've been let off. They were asking <laughs> quite a lot of dude. But you know, I'm gonna let you off because I'm nervous and everything. Oh, I am. I'm tremendously so, nervous. However, if you would like further information, reach out to Elisa. The information will be below. And um, I think we should, um, I guess we'll go shopping and try and buy some of this stuff. See if this is like a Nutella or what too. <laughs> no Nutella. You should just let it go. <laughs> Go on, just let it go. All right. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. And we keep you updated. I'll let you know how this um, nutrition plan goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> hey guys, that's a wrap. Keep posted. Up to date. Like, dislike. Do your like. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates and episodes.